Um, I'm from Belgium, so I have a totally different accent in English. Um, well, um, as an artist, uh, I have to introduce myself. I have loads of ideas. Mostly, I uh, translate them to music. But of course, in life, everything comes to you. It's all these ideas hanging around in space, and uh, you see myself make music. So I call you my shareholders of my thoughts. There's things I think. There's things I make. And of course, there's things I share, mostly, like I said before, it's music. But what I want to talk about today is when, when I started making the music, there was loads of opportunities. Basically, there was a budget, and then uh, afterwards, you would make something, you would make a living. And I see nowadays that it's more and more difficult to make a living out of music or whatever artistic ideas you have and you try to translate it to a life. So with boy shouting, that's the thing I do as a solo musician. I use a loop station, it's just an interaction. So if you make art, you design whatever, you try to make money, of course, as all people do, because also artists are happy if they can make enough money to get a living, and at least don't lose money. Well, here's my story. What I did when I was as boy shouting, that was back in 2008, I think. So we do a job, we go to work, we get paid. I write music on a daily basis. If I get up, I go to my piano, I can write music. It's, it's very difficult. It's not difficult for me. It's, it's like it's like breathing. It's, it's just like do something and, and there, there's music. In, in a couple of hours, I will have a song. So I thought, what can I offer people? I can offer them a song a day, of course. I just have to get to my piano. And at first, I sold these days to my friends. And later, I got the uh, different media, I got to overtuigen, uh, uh, I don't find the word in English now, but convince people to buy a day out of my life. That was in 2008, so I had a budget to catch, and I had 100 days in my life. I would make a song every day. And if somebody would buy a song, you see their business model back then was sell a band, they would ask you to pay 50,000 euro and have a Hot shop producer doing the album. No, I just sold my days to friends and later via the media. I got a pre finance record because I wrote a song. I would send it to people in the end of the day. And after 100 days, I sold 100 songs. And I chose 12 songs. I put them on the record and I got a lot of concerts. But what happened? I have this other band. It's called Coem. And uh, yeah, you see my friends uh, Stoffel, Tom, Jo, and Patrick. So, I thought like, even now, if this is 2014, it's really difficult for us to make money making music. So what did we do? We, we, we used to be this pop band, and we got more of this jazz idea of making music. And I wanna say like, jazz is not music, it's an attitude. What is jazz? It's just like you. You let all the things you feel, different instruments, you blend them, and you just see what comes out of it. Why is this important? The new album title of my band is called 12 Notes. This comes from the bass player from Paul Simon who said, in the end it's just 12 notes. I like that idea. 12 notes is not only the notes you can count here, it's also in English the note you, you tell people something. So I came to this conclusion, and I will explain it in, in a second. Uh, if I would make just a structure for a song, Without holding on to the structure, I could rethink this song every time I play it. Just necessary not to make the structure too strong, so the musicians are free to uh, create another song. And so I came up with this new crowdfunding idea, where I took a 250 old sleeves of records, and I would put this print on it, and I just have 250 prints, which these people here have some of them, and I would like to ask them to give them to the road behind them and just let them go way back. Uh, we are, we got this Yakiasis is the place where we got the old covers. It's a reuse center in Hasselt where I live. We took 250 old uh, sleeves and here you see us in this, uh, in this center where there's a print club. Here you see me getting my, uh, uh, you know, what's called my uh, education. So it's called Coppé in Hassel also. And there you have a printing club, which is a great idea. I took the old sleeves, 
to the printing club, and me and my friends, uh, not these, these four other students, my band, we uh, just made 200 prints, 250 prints. How does it work now? These prints you can buy, you can choose to buy an empty sleeve. Then you get a ticket for the live recording session, and then afterwards you, you've been to the live recording session with your empty uh, record sleeve, we will send you the, the final. So, uh, when can you do this? It's online or on the road. Why? You have this crowdfunding site, it's really nice, but maybe you want to hear what the music will sound like, because I rethink the music every time I play it. So you can come to some of the concerts where you can check the uh, vinyls, the, the, the covers, at the same time we will play you the music. And later in Hasselt, you can come to the live recording session, where once more we will play the music, and the music you will hear that night will come to you in this totally unique uh, old cover with a print on, uh, and you get the vinyl or CD if you don't have a, a vinyl uh, yeah, record player. So in your postbook, later on, you can find a, a vinyl with a totally unique concert. concert. Uh, just for the information, I did play one of these concerts here in TAC, and there I got to know this Petra Kutscha and said to Maarten, uh, one of the hosts, uh, well, I would love to explain the same, uh, tell the same story here in front of the nice audience. And as you see, time flies, and Evolution, uh, so I want to thank.